today's install is going to completely change the game for me, going from the stock 80 amp alternator to the high output 220 amp alternator from Power Bastards, along with installing their new wiring kit for it. And I'm also going to be installing the Blue Eddy Charger 1, which I'll tell you more about throughout the video. So first things first, we disconnected the battery terminals, and then we went on that pulley here. You turn this pulley clockwise, and that's going to release the tension so you can remove the belt. And next, you're removing the two bolts that hold in the alternator. You got one on the bottom here, and then one on the top. So once those two bolts are out of there, you'll be able to pull that alternator right on out. You might have to wiggle around a little bit and reposition that wire in a little bit. Can you just make sure the belt doesn't get up? Then it's time to throw that beautiful high output alternator right on in there, baby. Alright, you wanna keep your eye on the belt. I could go down below too, just to make sure it lines up good when you put it down. Since that has to go around it. Want me to hop down there? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, because I'm kind of blind with uh, the bottom part. Uh, we got it. <laughs> then you put the stock positive wire in on the alternator post. And the new big boy on top. Then you just want to run your wiring over to your battery, figure out where you want to set up your fuse. Then you're just going to have to make two cuts to connect into your fuse. Oh, she. More power, baby. And now we have more than enough power to power all of our accessories, including our winch, all our auxiliary lighting, and especially the Blue Eddy Charger 1, which here it is in action, getting over 550 watts charging while I'm driving the trails on an overcast day. Wild. Over 500 watts of charging from my truck, baby. And now for the super quick and easy install of the Blue Eddy Charger 1. So you put the positive and negative wiring right up through under the dashboard. Didn't have to make a slit or anything in that grommet. Just push it right on through and it popped on out on the other side in the engine bay. A little more. Uh, you got it? Yep. Pull it? From what I remember, this thing just kind of rips right up. <laughs> and then you just want to pop some of your trim pieces <laughs> off so you can run that wiring nice and neat out of sight. Hell yeah, quarter. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. All right, cool. Hell yeah, boy. Once the wiring's all ran neat to where you need it to go, then you just connect it to the Blue Eddy Charger 1, you put it into these terminals here, and you use the Allen key to tighten it from the top. Then you're all set and ready to send it, baby. It's been absolutely amazing having unlimited power no matter what on the road, and especially in the winter with limited sunlight not having to break down camp in the morning to be able to get that solar charging. 
And to put this into perspective with how much power I get from my truck now in comparison to what I got from my solar panels, I had 400 watts of solar on my roof. And even in the most ideal conditions, I was maybe pulling 270 watts from that. So to be getting over 550 watts from my truck now, anytime, anywhere, regardless of what environment I'm in, whether it's day or night, absolutely incredible. Even with that setup, I was able to keep self-sustained. But one complication I ran into was I go to a lot of trailheads to hike and parking in trailheads typically have trees around block the sunlight so you can't get that much solar while you're out and about. So then I would have to dedicate a whole day to just charging up after. So now, don't have to worry about that at all. Been a cloudy past few days in the mountains. So I had to break out the extra foldouts. Try to recover from this 10% battery. So now we got 800 watts solar total. The Blue Eddy Charger 1 also has all the safety measures already built into it. It'll never overdraw from your battery, leaving you with a dead battery. It has protection for short circuiting, reverse connection, under voltage, overcharging. Installing this with the high output alternator from Power Bastards, I have absolutely no concerns with this setup. And it's absolutely a dream come true to have this all together. I wouldn't have been too comfortable doing it with the stock alternator only being 80 amps and seemingly already showing me signs that I'm pushing it to its limits already.